So a little bit about how this is made. You need five pieces of wood, and I've left all of the dimensions down in the description below, so you'll have that. Uh, basically how this works. Okay, so you have a nut and a bolt here, and you can loosen that, and you can adjust this piece here in relation to this fence, and when you butt that up against your table, you know, that'll allow you to change this to whatever angle you want it to. Also, it lets you keep the relation, so if you need to slide this in, slide this out, you're always at the angle that you want it. Now, there, and you got it close, just take your clamp and just mount it to the table there, and now this can't move left or right. So now you're getting ready to cut something, and you can see right here, well, I'm not quite lined up where I want it to be. Well, that's not a problem, because now you can loosen up this nut and bolt here, and you can slide your fence until you get that lined up exactly how you want it. And at this point, I actually like putting a second clamp on here just to really make sure that nothing's going to go anywhere. Now this is super secure, and you can just run parts through here as many times as you need, always getting the same cut. So there you have it. Now I got two boards that are same size, ripped on the bandsaw. So you could also set this up for, for say, joinery. Pretty quick dovetail, just needs a little pairing with the chisel to clean it up, but other than that, it's ready to go. Let me take this apart so you can see how it works. Um, I just got a wing nut on there, and then this is a spacer that you saw me make on the lathe, and this isn't integral to the the function of, the, uh, of this fence. I did that because the bolts that I had on hand were not as big as the groove that my router was going to cut. I only had a half inch bit for this, um, and this is like a, I think, 5 16 18 bolt. That was the biggest one I had. So I made a spacer just to fill up that gap. So anyway, here's how it works. Cut a board that has an angle on it. Um, mine ended up being 81 degrees. You can make this whatever you want as long as this angle here and this angle here are the same and the same thing for this. Um, so this is where the fence is going to ride along this piece. The way this works, you can see, since these are all the same angle and then it was flipped around, um, this stays as a as a square basically so as you slide it this way the distance from here to here increases but the angle never changes and if you slide it this way it decreases and the same the angle never changes um, so that allows you to kind of get some fine adjustments get everything dialed in close clamp it down and then you can use this to, to bring it home and you may notice that this is now a solid piece of wood and in the glue up I showed using plywood. After my glue up, the ply I found the plywood had a curve in it and so I cut it off and redid it with a piece of solid lumber. And the only other thing I really have to say about this is right here, I put some adhesive sandpaper down and that just help keeps this from moving. And then for this bolt, this one's actually uh, epoxied right here, uh, just to help, so keep it from spinning as I go to tighten things down. So there that is. If you think about building one, it's a great addition to the shop. This isn't my idea. I got it, the idea out of a book, a bandsaw book, and I'll leave uh, a link to that 
down below. So definitely check out that book. There's a lot of great information in it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.